New at 10, a teenager set on fire after being doused in gasoline by her boyfriend and sharing her story for the first time. The horrible domestic violence attack happened in Priceville back in January. Way 31's Brittany Harry spoke to that woman today. She is live tonight in Priceville with the story you'll only see on Way 31 News. Well, Dana Nikel, I am certainly happy to report tonight that she was she is doing much, much better and now is ready to tell her story. Now, I do want to warn you that some of the images of her injuries might be a little disturbing to some to see. But this woman tells me that her ex-boyfriend actually created a fake Snapchat account pretending to be one of her friends while well, they were talking back and forth for a while and one day decided to meet up. Well, turns out the whole thing was a setup. I will never forget the feeling I felt, the moment I seen just the, his shadow, because the first thing he did was pop up and I could see his, I, my heart completely sunk. It was here at Priceville Townhomes where Makaira Mosley thought she was meeting a friend. When she arrived and the friend wasn't there, she went back to her car to leave. Mosley's ex-boyfriend, 22-year-old Marquise Waynes, had other plans. Jumps up behind, from behind the cars runs over and douses me in gasoline. At the time, it was like, what is it? And the smell hit me. Then Mosley says he lit a lighter, catching her on fire. She ran into a nearby house for help. Wayne's took off. I love my family. I really do. And I love, I just, it's too soon. I haven't found out what I want to do yet. I haven't grown up, I went to college, I haven't been married, I haven't had kids, none of that. In that moment, I just thought, is this the end of everything? Mosley says those thoughts and feelings took over her in that moment. She says she knew she needed to get away and was going to do everything in her power to do so. Any idea why he did this? N none. It was... I hadn't seen him until that day. I haven't seen him for years. I honestly thought he had moved out of the state. I didn't even know he was still in. I didn't even think of him. Mosley was flown to UAB hospital with severe burns, mostly to her face. She was hospitalized for about a week. They had to shave me completely bald. 90% um, of my face was burnt to my lips, my nose. Um, I had this small area of my cheek that wasn't burned. There were some sleepless nights in the beginning, Mosley says. Physically, now she's doing a lot better. Thankfully, emotionally, she is too. Just smile. May every bad situation is always good somewhere. Even when you don't see it, it's going to come around. And Waynes did turn himself into Priceville Police shortly after the crime occurred. We know that he is still behind bars on an attempted murder charge at the Morgan County Sheriff's Office. For now, I'm reporting live in Priceville, Brittany Harry, Way 31 News.